Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Yet another video. This time, version 2.5 of the overall container and internal bags, containers, dividers video, which is fairly simple, I think, overall. One of our basic vids. We gotta have something to carry all gear in. Now, we already talked about the uh, big bag here for a buck. Multiple colors and all that, drawstring and all that. Can secure down here with a little fastener. We gotta have this. This is a must, okay? You know, you may not want this color, but whatever. For a buck, this is our biggest container we're gonna have. I'm not seeing any negative vids on that. So that's a must. That's gonna be our primary container to hold everything for a buck. So that's a go, I think. Now, looking at some of the other videos some of the other guys made, and uh, well, not videos they made, but comments they made, I got some pretty good feedback on getting the mesh utility bag, uh, laundry bag, that sort of thing there. Um, it's uh, 36 by 24. Uh, it's got one of the little push locks like the other one, like the, the solid bag. I think this is going to be a must uh, once I thought about it. I talked about using one of these little bags for wet gear and all that. Nah, it may get musty. It may get cruddy and all that. The mesh bag is going to be better for wet gear just because you shove it in there, it's outside the main bag. You have two bags maybe, but that's okay. You got to hang that up, carry it around with you. It's not going to be that big with wet gear in it because you hopefully don't have that much wet gear, but you have no problems with contaminating your main container. Now, if you got a big tear in your main container, something like that, you know, you just it catches a, a limb or something, gets a rip in it. Yeah, you can repair that with duct tape and all that, but you could drop the big bag in the mesh bag to provide some extra retention there, some extra strength to the main bag to get by. And like I say, again, you could probably shove all your wet gear in this if you have to move, if you have to keep going. You could shove it in this bag and you're going to be okay. It's going to air out and it may actually be dry after a while, at least more dry than it was. So that's a good thing, I think, for a buck. Uh, they had this in a lot of colors. I also got this one in green. Um, could you use this for other type things, you know, if you had apples or something? That you're collecting, you know, pears, oranges, something that you're collecting away from your campsite. You can shove them in this. Don't use your main bag for that. Don't contaminate it with all the goo and the gunk if they're smushed or something. The mesh bag is going to be better. Uh, you could also dump the mesh bag in water, a stream, something like that to wash things off. Uh, all sorts of things you do with this mesh bag. I think I like the mesh bag. I think that's a good, you know, addition. Initially, I said it wasn't, but after second thoughts. For an extra buck, I'm going to keep that in the bag and use it. I'm not going to keep it, you know, folded out or anything like that because that's just silly. Uh, I'm going to keep this as small as it needs to be. And this little bag here has got a little lip on it that you can pull open and seal back. Now, it's not going to be as great after you open it and close it a bunch of times, but it gives me another line of sealant there. So, I'm going to keep this in the original pack and throw it in the bag unless I get entirely too many vids or posts, comments, that say not to. Again, one is none, two is one. Well, I could have another bag like the original stored away, but I think the mesh bag gives me lots of options because I know I'm going to be carrying duct tape to patch up any holes in the basic bag. So, I think this one is okay. It can be used as a sane, can, you know, you could capture minnows with it, you know, if you decide to destroy it and pull the thing out, you know, catch fish, something like that. Not what I'm going to use this for as a primary by any means, but I think this is worth the effort. This weighs nothing, okay? So, we're going to talk about final weight after a while, but anyway. Next up, the big storage bags. The storage bags, the heavy-duty ones. I got three of them here. They fold up fairly small, like so. Um, they're also good for holding our other containers, or our other items, rather. Um, they'll hold our tarps and other things without getting them wet, etc. I think these things are great. Nice, heavy handle on them. I like these. I like these a lot. There's a lot of things you can do with these bags. So, three of them for a buck. I think, personally, keep them all. They fold up fairly small, and again, I'm probably going to use these to store things in. If I've got a lot of gear of a single category, if you will, you know, if it's big enough, I'm going to store it all in the same place. So, I think these are good for extra water storage and all that. Again, you can't have too much water. Uh, even if this is dirty water, I'd rather haul this from a stream back to my camp and boil it after the fact. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, 
I'm thinking with these storage bags, got to have at least one. Personally, I'm thinking all three, but you know, whatever you guys think, again, I'm thinking all of them, even if I can even fold it up. Uh, obviously, not going to store them in the box when I camp out with them, take them out in the bag, but that's what I'm keeping them in for now. So, I think these are, at least one of those is a must-have. Next up, plastic storage bag with a little slide-style top on them, as you see there. There's 15 of these in a box. Um, these are, I believe, quart-sized. Yep, quart-sized, sorry. Can't read upside down that well. There's 15 of them. We don't need all 15, and we certainly don't need the whole box. But again, this is going to be good for dividing smaller gear, fire starting gear, that type of stuff. Just whatever we've got. We need some of these. Not all 15. We probably need, I'd say, three, maybe four of them. Some of them holding gear, maybe one of them with nothing in it just for carrying whatever. So we've got to have a few of these for internal storage capacity and dividing things up just so you can get to it in a hurry. So, you know, we've got 15 to decide from. You guys let me know how many you need or think we need. I'm thinking three to four out of the 15. So that's decent. Now, one thing I've not gotten a lot of comments on, but I'd say is somewhat controversial, is this big canister here. You see, that's big. That takes up a lot of space. Yeah, you're right, it does. Um, for a buck, it's decent for storage, but the good thing about this is going to give rigid storage. Everything else, the plastic bags, etc., are soft. You know, you fall, you may smash something. You may break something. Now, you could fall, you could fall and smash something with this thing, but it's at least going to give you an extra layer of protection. You're going to have to smash through the bottle first. Now, that may ruin the bottle, but maybe it protects the stuff inside. I think this may be worth carrying personally with my kit because it's got that screw top on it which is going to make everything watertight on the inside. I can use this for water collection, you know, pulling water out of a stream to boil it, just all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of options for this one. I think we should keep this one. And the reason, I, you know, generally in the bag, I would say no. Just throwing in there, I'd say it's not that useful. But we're going to keep this. Now, this is not for storage or internal containment overall, but I think... Everybody agreed we have to have this loaf pan. Well, this fits nicely, nicely in the loaf pan with the duct tape or whatever else we've got in there. I think this is decent. I think this is an okay idea for storage. Why not? You, you're already sacrificing the internal space of this, okay? You're carrying this. I think we're pretty sure this is going to be in the kit. So, might as well utilize the space on the inside as well as we can. So, this is a little too big, but it's going to be fairly well protected if set in the pack you know, this end down, all that, we're going to be okay. Chances of falling and breaking this thing are fairly limited. I think this is a good hard container. I think we need something that's a semi-hard container for containing stuff, and we're going to get extra protection, obviously, from this loaf pan. So, those are all our internal containers, the big bag and all that. I think all of this stuff is necessary. Let me know what you think, but this is a start, version 2.5. Anyway, Indy Prepper, out.